If you ain't doing, what the hell are you doing? This is the Doug Stewart Show. Throwback Thursday, January 5th, 2017. Have you gotten your premium membership yet? You should. Ooh, we got a great episode of Chop It Up coming up. Yeah. Yeah, make sure you go to the and get your premium membership, man. Um, very soon here, man. We are moving to a brand new house, a uh, brand new platform, brand new chat room, which is going to be even bigger and better, man. Uh, we've already got the uh, Chop It Up uh, show. On the network, um, where we talk to interesting people, stewies, friends, family, uh, athletes. We're talking to an athlete on this next episode. So uh, go to the Show.com, man, and become a premium member. Hey, before we end out the show and I read some messages in the chat room, have y'all noticed? Have y'all noticed that it seems like there's a lot more money being put on the Clemson Tigers, man, for this national championship? Huh? I'm sure y'all noticed. Yeah, yeah. So there's a lot of money, and I think a lot of it has to do with this whole, you know, Lane Kiffin, Steve Sarkeesian thing. I mean, anybody that knows sports and knows athletes, man, that this just isn't a good setup. Now, they may very well go out there and kick ass and win another national championship for Nick Saban, but this is just totally out of norm. I mean, this is just this is just not right, you know, getting rid of your guy that's called plays for the last couple of years, the game before the national championship or the uh, week before the national championship. And so Steve Sarkeesian, you know, Sarkeesian and Lane Kiffin played together, or not played together, they were on the same coaching staff, under Pete Carroll at USC. And I guess that's that was their ties. That's how Kiffin got the job. And then when he was out, um, Sarkeesian got the job. But then he drank himself out of the damn job. So, I mean, I'm pretty sure they run the same plays. And Sarkeesian was a kind of like a consultant with the team this year, kind of like in preparation for when Lane Kiffin had to go. So a lot of people say, well, it's no big deal. It's, it's going to be an easy transition. It might be, but it might not. <laughs> That's the thing. And I think a lot of people are putting, you know, all these different things together, how dynamic Clemson looked against Ohio State, how not dynamic Jalen Hurts looked last week against Washington. Um, the fact that they got a new offensive coordinator, like everything is lining up. The stars are aligning for them Clemson Tigers. I'm telling you. The stars are aligning. Let's go, Tigers. Yeah, the stars are aligning. Somebody said last week, I thought you were a Carolina fan. Uh, that's I'm really not a fan. I wouldn't call myself a fan of any of those teams. I support all South Carolina teams. If the Citadel Bulldogs or the Walford Terriers were in the national championship, I'd be rooting for them. Okay? I would be. Um, when Clemson and Carolina plays against each other, I root for Carolina. And it's just because I've been to Carolina a million times. And, I mean, Clemson pretty much is like going to California for where I'm from. <laughs> and, the, you know, the, the, the geography of the situation. Like, Clemson from my, from my mama house is four hours. I mean, it's way up there. It's a good little hump. Uh, Carolina is an hour and a half. And so I've been to Carolina, williams Bryce Stadium millions and millions of times. So I guess if Clemson and Carolina play each other, I'll root for Carolina. But if they're not playing each other and they're playing anybody else in the world, I'm rooting for the home team. You better believe that. Let's go, Tigers. Ho, let Tiger. It's pretty much now or never, man. There's never been a more uh, a better opportunity for Clemson to win a national championship since 1981. And they've had a lot of good years. They've had a lot of bad years. They've had a lot of good years. Remember the Woody Dantzler years? Um, Taj Boyd put up a lot of numbers the last couple of years. Uh, but they just never. They were already, do, already uh, always doing that Clemsoning thing where they have a bunch of big wins and, you know, look like they're going to cruise and then they lose to Wake Forest or North Carolina State or somebody like that. 
And so this year, man, since 1981, they got their best shot. Let's go, Tigers. <laughs> Alabama's out of their routine. Simple as that. From KC in the chat room on Spreaker.com, Vin Diesel stole some fast cars from someone in the first movie, and then by part eight, the other guys are trying to steal the fast cars back. <laughs> Right, exactly. My point exactly. My point exactly. From Sidney Stoney Jackson, in the first movie, folks were robbing trucks. In the last Fast and Furious movie, they were trying to steal some damn thing from somebody. Hell, I can remember that shit. <laughs> right. Y'all not doing too good of a job convincing me that I should take time to watch these Fast and Furious movies, Stewies. From Sidney Stoney Jackson. So since number 42 from Clemson did what he did to that OSU player, I bet the camera will zoom in on each one of his tackles to see if he does that suspect stuff again. Well, clearly he won't do it again. I mean, they've been found out. They actually said that they had been doing this all year long as they put it trying to get under somebody's skin. Now that it's been exposed, they won't dare try to grab somebody's testicles again. No way. From Kaza, he says, Clemson got this. Kiffin is going to tell them some plays. Oh, I didn't even think about that. A la what happened at Wake Forest. Kiffin get down like that. Uh, you know what? Kiffin does seem like the slimy type to do something like that. Like, I would not be surprised if Lane Kiffin created a fake email address and, like, email Clemson the whole playbook. Yes! I like it. I like it. Yeah. Yeah, I can see that. I can see that. Uh, from Duncan and Dodger, maybe they should put the Fast and Furious actors in some colored tights and give them imaginary powers. Now, that would work. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I like that. That's a great idea. Uh, from Thorny Switch, laugh out loud at fruity and sugary. Uh, somebody said something about fruity and sugary earlier. Big L, Chuck, they uh, talked to the linebacker number 10, uh, Bullware, that's his name, and he said they do it all the time to their opponent. A lot of gay mess on football field, really? Big L, you may have just jumped into the show late, but we talked about this at nauseam the first, like, 30 minutes of the show. Like, where they do that at? <laughs> Like, it's, it's it's real, real strange, and I don't care what that dude said. Nobody I talked to said that they ever remember that going on on the football field. No. From Kaza, Clemson got this. Kiffin is going to tell them some plays. Kiffin get downs like that. I already read that. From Andre Elam, he says, Clay, I'm with you. And they come to the new Mercedes-Benz and ATL to play my FSU the first game of the season. Uh, so it's Alabama. I can't remember. I saw this the first game of the year next year at the at the new Falcon Stadium is between Alabama and Florida State. Is that what you're saying? Um, from Chucktown, Frank. My membership says six months, twenty four dollars, or one year, forty eight. I don't believe it's let me do four dollars a month. <laughs> Yeah, so um, I think what he's referring to, we actually put in, we originally had the just $4 flat across the board per month for the subscription for the for the Doug Stewart Show and the Stewart Media and Entertainment Network. Um, but the web developer put in a couple other options uh, later where you could pay like six months or a year. We had a couple people said that they wanted that option as well. So I think that's what he's talking about. From KC, Kevin going to be in the Clemson coach's box wearing those fake – Groucho fuzzy nose and glasses. That would be funny. Yeah, yeah, that'd be funny. Who did that? What, what was the manager name? Bobby Valentine did that for the uh, Mets. Came back into the dugout after getting kicked out with the with the with the Groucho marks, glasses, and big ass nose or whatever. Man, that would, that would be interesting. I never thought about that. Lane Kiffin does strike me as the type that would do something like that. You know, he he does. He strikes me as that type that would do something like that. Ugh. 
hey, I don't care, man. Whatever it takes. Clemson was so close last year getting it done. And uh, I think this year, man, they, they kind of got the, the the eye of the tiger. Like Rocky Balboa about to run into the locker room and whatnot, man. I think this is their year, man. Or at least I hope. Let me put it like that. At least I hope. I picked them to win it all at the start of the season. And I like my pick. I like my pick. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. When Tupac was around, he wanted to raise a nation of thugs. Yes, sir. But uh, I think it's only right for me to raise a nation of thugs. Yes, sir. Frank Cole. Hey, uh. Thank you for joining me on the Doug Stewart Show. Shouts out to my producers, Waterhead Walter. Shouts out, Waterhead. Good job today, brother. Shouts out to my man, Poe Politikin, West Coast in it. What up, fella? Thank you for doing what you do. Brandon Butler. Yeah. Shouts out to Brandon Butler. Um, who we got? My man, Pink Gator, for this hot-ass track right here. Yeah. And who else? Oh, shouts out to my man, Larry the Benefactor. <laughs> yeah, me and Larry, uh, Larry had a long talk. Larry said that yeah, he about to tighten up the reins on on his benefactor in this. this. He said, I ain't got it. <laughs> That's all right, Larry. The Stewie's got me. Hey, and a special shout out to all of the Stewies, man. Without you, there would be no me. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you. All right, so we'll do it again tomorrow. Tomorrow's a fantastic, freaky, funny football Friday. And um, we're going to talk about these NFL playoff games tomorrow as well. Continue with the fun, fun, fun that we normally have around here. Day in and day out, Monday through Friday from 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. Eastern Time right here on the Stewart Media and Entertainment Network. So we got all of that going on tomorrow. It's going to be crazy around here. All right? So, same Doug Stewart time. Same Doug Stewart channel. Y'all be careful on them streets. Peace. I think it's only right for me to raise a nation of bruh. Frank Cole. Ernest Jess. Oscar Cooper. Love, four founders, sons of blood and thunder. I'm wrecking for the cue, I know we make you wanna. Frank Coleman.